Hey everyone. So we don't normally make update videos like this, but since we've kind of become known as the Frame Meister guys, we've been getting a lot of questions like, why is the Frame Meister $600 or more? Now there is a reason this price gouging is happening, but it shouldn't be. So we wanted to help clear everything up so that people don't needlessly panic about their options for retro console upscaling. The chip responsible for most of the FrameMeister's upscaling tasks, the Marvel QDO, has gone out of production. As we understand it, MyComSoft has purchased enough of these integrated circuits to manufacture around two or so years worth of FrameMeister stock, based on previous demand. So while it's true that the FrameMeister will be discontinued, that day is expected to be some time from now, as long as demand doesn't significantly increase. Back in 2013, we both bought our own FrameMeisters from a website called Solaris Japan. They have a direct supply line with MyComSoft and move a significant amount of their product that ships outside of Japan. Solaris has consistently had the most fair FrameMeister prices, directly based on yen conversion rates. And that is still true in 2017. As usual, Solaris continues to take pre-orders for upcoming FrameMeister shipments. So should you buy one now? We've heard enough to know that MyComSoft is planning a FrameMeister successor, but we shouldn't expect to see it for a couple more years at the earliest. Obviously, we have no idea what sort of features it might have, or if it will fix any of the flaws with the current unit. So, it's up to you to decide if it's worth waiting for a potential successor, whether to buy a FrameMeister now, or if you'd like to look into one of the FrameMeister alternatives like the more affordable open source scan converter. Watch RGB 105 to learn more about the strengths and weaknesses of the FrameMeister, OSSC, and other video processors. Or if you'd rather give up on the HD stuff altogether and just get into the world of retro gaming on CRTs, check out RGB 104. Just a friendly reminder for the OSSC, only so many can be manufactured at a time. So if you're at all interested, you need to get on the waiting list immediately. You can do this by simply signing up for the newsletter at videogameperfection.com. So let's suppose you do decide to get a FrameMeister in 2017. We've also been getting a lot of questions about which package to buy. Traditionally, the FrameMeister only ships with a JP21 adapter for the RGB port, but Solaris now offers a EuroSCART package for the FrameMeister. JP21 and SCART cables look the same, but they're wired up differently inside and are not cross-compatible. Neither standard has a quality difference, and both standards are compatible with any console that supports RGB. It doesn't matter where you live or which region of console you plug it into, only what type of port it goes into. It's best to just pick one standard and stick with it, so we recommend the European SCART, simply because for most people it will be easier to get cables and switchers to support the SCART standard. For convenience, Solaris Japan does sell a few RGB cables themselves, wired up to the JP21 spec, so ultimately the choice is yours. If you want to use component cables with your FrameMeister, you'll also need to toss in the component to D-terminal adapter. As far as we know, new FrameMeisters still ship with a universal power supply to support input for 100 to 240 volts, so you're good to go no matter where you live. Now, if you are looking for RGB related gear or anything else, we always appreciate when you look at the affiliate links in our video descriptions. Just to be clear, affiliate links don't mean that you're associated with a web store. Anyone can sign up for the program, which gives a small kickback for anything added to the cart and purchased after the link is clicked. This gives you the option to support My Life in Gaming at no additional cost which in turn helps us afford to make a better and more comprehensive show. Well, hopefully that answered most of the questions you may have had about the current FrameMeister situation. It's not as dire as you might have thought. So whether you want to get one now, or you need a few months to decide, you're still going to be fine. We can't be sure what will happen next in the world of HD retro gaming, but there are sure to be some exciting new options in the future. 